There you go, guys. Thank you. So I do have a majority we got a pay I think that was the first time I've ever done a flamboyant dive. Um, I've copped a bit of flack from my teammates in the past for not showing any emotion. So um, I'm pretty sure that one was, yeah, purely emotion and just, I guess, satisfaction. Like Geordie, it's um, something we don't plan for. It just happens. It comes out naturally. And I was clearly pretty happy with that. So I just let it, yeah, I showed it clearly. And what did you make of the dive roll that brother Scott um, pulled earlier on with that flag? Oh, we've, we've made a lot of that. It's a little inside joke. We've um, made a little movie of it, and it's yeah, it's uh, he's he's working on it. <laughs> the following week, he had the opportunity to to put it down, but he lost control of it. But it's um, yeah, work in progress. Way down there. Are they all right? So, obviously, big moment for Scott. Um, he's been here through the Woodies since two thousand two. I've got a few more people. Yeah, he's a bit bigger since the uh, top bunk that he slept in. He probably wouldn't fit in anymore, and I was on the bottom bunk back in 2002. But it's great to have room with him, and um, he's clearly got his rugby cap on because the other night he was sleep talking, he was calling out the line out moves. <laughs> and I, uh, I guess he'd be second or third in line, but mate, it, that was going through his head, that's for sure. Oh, to be fair, I haven't been talking too much footy with him. Um, keeping it pretty casual in the room as we we like to do. Uh, at the end of the day, he's my brother. I'm rooming with him, and you know we're in Tokyo, so um, when it's time to talk rugby, it's usually in you know around the rugby field or in meetings or so on. Uh, we don't yeah like to. Talk about it all the time. Wait a minute. What is it about Barrett and Jess that suddenly can play 10 15? Geordie can play pretty much every position in the back line, maybe say half back and then probably shot in his hands and stop the ability to change in the second row. Why have you guys suddenly moved the trial on that I'm not sure. It's, um, I mean, as a back, the skill sets required from a 10 15 are pretty similar. Uh, for Geordie, I guess he can cover the midfield too, so uh, probably because of his size and physicality. Whereas Scoot, uh, because of his skill set, has good handling skills and ball carrying ability, it's why he can probably play six well too. I think so, yeah. Um, I mean, we take a lot of pride in every opportunity we get to put the black jersey on and uh, we're lucky to get another one this weekend, and uh, it's obviously a pretty big game. Okay, John. Uh, Jordy, obviously your dad played a lot of sixes here over here, getting Scott in a bit of a box. <laughs> um, oh, I doubt I uh, would have given him some advice now, but I'm sure he'll um, try out his 10 cents in the next couple of days. So um, as long as he doesn't um, follow some of Dad's tactics from 98, probably can't get away with it now. <laughs> Just on Smiley, um, there's a, a picture uh, posted of him, you know, smiling after the island game from up in the crowd there. Was that the biggest smile you've seen on him in a while? Yeah, oh, look, he's, um, last week was a tough week for him, so and for us, so it was awesome to share that moment with him and for him to be over supporting us. Um, yeah, he's called Smiley for a reason. He's, uh, you know, that grin of his comes out, you know, quite often, and it's always good to see. So, um, yeah, he's just a proud dad. And how important has family been with, with um, your granddad's kid passing away? How important was it inside the camp to have the three brothers together and your, and your old man over here? Yeah, it was um, obviously a tough time. Uh, Gilbert and Oka was great in that space. Um, you know, and the team were awesome around supporting us. And 
always given us the option to head home if that was what we needed to do, etc. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's awesome to have Dad over here and um, you know plenty of support from back home also. I'll have to get our preparation right. Um, no two test matches are the same, so how we prepare, uh, it's, it's crucial that we do it right so we can turn up on, on Saturday at 5pm in the right space to, uh, you know, do what's required to get the job done. Do you acknowledge, stakes, do you acknowledge the game a bit? Absolutely, you have to. Um, we walk towards that as All Blacks. It's you know the world we live in, so of course it's a big game. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about. It. Question on the back, boys. When you um, when you watch the England Australia game, um, were they more impressive than you think they were? They more impressive than you expected them to be? And did you feel that the level of threat from them has increased with that performance? Um, I wasn't surprised by the way, by how expansive England played and, and can play. Um, I mean, for a number of years now, they've had really good, skillful backs and forwards who can play an expansive game, but also a physical game as required. So, no, I wasn't surprised at all. I've got a question from actually in the front row of the short side. Hi. Um, I know that uh, you three brothers are playing different positions, but is there like a um, Oh, we're all pretty competitive. Um, you'd probably find more rivalry, uh, you know, on the back lawn at home in the summertime playing backyard cricket than you would, you know, in campus. We're all playing different positions, so it's hard to hard to compare, but. Um, yeah, ultimately we're just trying to do the best for the team in our own roles. Yeah, we've got a question over here then, at the back. Uh, Owen Carey is in the 40s, talking about his journey back from surgery and trying to find his form again. Can you just say how important he is to this group, especially if I know he did against Darnie in the quarterfinals? Yeah, he's um, inspirational. He leads uh, with his actions, clearly, um, but also the influence he has around the team. Um, his decision making, you know, we we feel a lot of confidence with him uh, leading us, and you know the way he's been playing, um, getting up off the line, making some big tackles. Uh, you know, there's only one way to lead, and that's by example, and he's doing that very well. Yeah, there's a bit, but. Uh, Bit of chat about both games actually. Um, he's obviously in the crowd, and he's a proud Irishman, and um, yeah, he, he is pretty happy with. Uh, I mean, he was complimentary of how we played. Um, he wasn't too happy with the result, obviously, but um, it was just good to have a chat. Uh, he's a great down-to-earth guy, and um, <coughs> obviously, I love golf. He loves rugby and watches, still watches from the states. So it was pretty cool to share some time with him yesterday. Russian, I think you've got a question from there. Just pop down the back, down the side. Thanks, Russian. We ask a question. Yes, so guys, a um, question from one of the um, questions we get here. We played in Japan quite a few times leading up to this World Cup, and obviously World Cups in Japan as well. Did you, do you see the All Blacks playing here a lot in the future, or is there something you'd like to do? Go and join. Yeah, um, the boys certainly love playing here in Japan. Um, the support from the local Japanese people is always amazing. They're such positive people, and um, yeah, it's nice and nice playing in front of sold-out stadiums and um, nice conditions. So um, there's certainly no complaints from the boys. Oh, we have a question over here on the left-hand side. Yep. Um, yeah, it, I mean, we had to remind ourselves before the game, like as the pressure comes on, you just have to 
take a moment to realise where you are and ultimately playing a game that you love. So enjoying those moments as much as possible is so important. And um, yeah, if we play well, obviously it's, it helps um, with that factor. But um, at the end of the day, it's just a game and we're out there giving it our best and hopefully having fun doing so. Okay, the last question at the back, right hand camera. What's the difference between the kicking game? The difference between them? Obviously they can both kick, um, both kick very well, so... Um, yeah, I, I wasn't too sure how England would select uh, their team this week, whether they'd play Tuolangi at, um, at 12, uh, but obviously they've, have they named the team? No, no. They haven't, there you go, so uh, it depends, I think it'll be a tactical selection, um, we'd probably guess if they want to kick a bit more they'll play Farrell and George Ford, um, if they want to be a little bit more direct and kick less, maybe run more, they'll play Tuolangi, so we'll have to wait and see. Thanks everyone. Well, right, right. <laughs> <laughs>